But union what is voices. the Labour message? Is it confused? You are a fan of TTIP, which is quite controversial for many in Labour, in what, the what Labour Party, second? whereas Jeremy Corbyn has said he'd veto that if it was a deal. Well, he said he'd veto it at all, actually, not even if it's a deal he doesn't like. So what is the Labour message on well, TTIP? Well, 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 two things. First of all, on TTIP, uh, TTIP doesn't have to be a bad deal uh, for Britain and, and, and British workers. If it opens up uh, jobs and, and investment, uh, that's a good thing for British exporters. So what is Jeremy example. Corbyn wanting to veto well, it? It's absolutely right, and we said this in our last manifesto, that if it meant the privatisation of the NHS, we would not support it. But we've had assurances from the United States, from the European Commissioner, uh, that the health services, for example, will be exempt uh, from uh, those, those TTIP laws. So this is the, the wrong Labour message from cases. Jeremy Corbyn, then, to say he'd veto it, come what may? Well, the no, no, first of all, Joe, he hasn't said he'll veto it. Well, he has up, may, well, he has up until now. Formed. He said he would write, yes. OK, but he so, says if TTIP... So we want, we want certain protections, for example, for for the NHS and for the environment. Uh, but let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, free trade and um, bringing down those uh, tariff barriers will mean uh, cheaper prices for British consumers, easing the cost of living uh, um, pressures for many families, and also greater uh, opportunities for British exporters. But you asked me, Joe. In terms of the NHS, which is a specific question, we all know that's a broken model. Not that it should for a minute ever go into the private sector, but that we can't carry on with something created in 1947 to deal with a getting older population. And, you know, people born today are going to live to be 100. Well, you're not going to have 30-odd years with an organisation that wasn't built to do it. You've got to change it. And the greatest function of change will be competition. Right, so and you do agree that it would be done the right way, I it would, would be the actually, right thing to do. I would use TTIP as a, as a vehicle, as a, as a catalyst to getting change in the NHS. Could well, I? In terms of the NHS, which is a specific question, we all know that's a broken model. Not that it should for a minute ever go into the private sector, but the greatest function of change will be competition. Right. You've got to change it, and the greatest function of change will be competition. Right, so and you do agree do that it would be done the right way, I would, would be the actually, right thing to do. I would use TTIP as a, as a vehicle, as a, as a catalyst to getting change in the NHS. Could right. I? that we can't carry on with something created in 1947 to deal with a getting older population.